Coach Basil was a, a huge influence, not only to myself, but my, my teammates as well. First of all, he instilled consistency, was one of the things that I would say was abundant in his personality, it was consistency daily with our practices, our game plans, our, our uh, approach to the teams that we were playing each week. Uh, words that I would use to describe my uncle as a coach were, you know, he's uh, very serious, very businesslike. Uh, his teams played very hard. That coach, you know, had a, had a serious side to him when it came to when it came time for games, but he also he also kept the season extremely fun. He didn't make it where it was winning was was life or death, but he also was uh, was very serious when it came time to play. He certainly was a uh, was very competitive from that standpoint. Uh, I still sometimes can hear that that whistle of his. He used to whistle right between his teeth. If, uh, if I'm having a bad night, I know I can hear that in the middle of the night. I know it's a, it's a nightmare to hear that even, even today, 35 years later. I've never heard anything like it to this day. I've played football in so many different places, and I don't know one coach that could whistle without an actual whistle, <laughs> like Coach like, like Bill. Uh, you know, he would run an entire practice with, with, with that whistle. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth. And if you heard it, you knew to either start, stop, or, you know, or, or be at attention. 60s all the way up to his retirement in the 2000s, Bill has been able to form and shape uh, mostly athletes and players, but I think uh, it goes beyond that, uh, forming um, men, uh, husbands, fathers, and just leaders in their communities. He was a man of faith that he taught us what it was to be a Shamanad man. He was always consistent with bringing God into uh, our practices, is always helping us, whether it was with the game plan, preparation for that week, in order to be successful on the field. Coach was uh, a tremendous leader for us. Great, great night for the Flyers, uh, a real struggle. We got off early with 14 quick points, but then we struggled through the rest of the game. But it was a great win for us over a very, very good St. Francis team. Uh, our guys uh, are ready now for Farrell coming on this week. Another tough uh, league opponent, and uh, we hope we can keep our momentum rolling and go right into the final game. See what happens. Thanks. He, he really seemed to connect with us on, on an individual uh, individual level. Um, he had pride in Chaminade. You could tell that when he was in his mid 30s. Just had the respect of everybody. You know, it was Coach Basil came around. You listened. You know, um, uh, it was just a tremendous role model for us as kids. You know, as far as our family is concerned, I think uh, Bill, uh, they looked up to him. Uh, who he was, the success that he had at Chaminade, uh, you know, his, his ability to lead people, his ability to lead students. Coach, congratulations on the Ring of Honor Leadership Award. You deserve it. Coach Basil wanted to wish you, uh, wish you the very best on this award. Congratulations. Congratulations, Coach Basil, on being the recipient of the Ring of Honor Leadership Award. Go Flyers.